18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, tonight we go back to 1947, and this summer was a little similar to the drought summer of 1988 in that there were some pretty substantial temperature extremes. As a matter of fact, in late July, around the 23rd, 24th, we had some of the coldest nights ever recorded in the month of July, where we had readings drop into the low to mid 40s. But by early August, we were at or above 100 degrees, and we had a lot of 100s in late August. Soils were very dry. We had a lot of drought expanding. Anywhere you see the rust color, or the red or orange, that's drought over a good chunk of the eastern U.S. in late summer 1947. And when the soils are very dry, it can heat up fast. It can also cool down very quickly, kind of acts like a desert. And that's kind of what we had in 47. In fact, uh, you know, in 1988, with that drought, we had extreme heat, but we also had some record cool numbers uh, in July as well. We dropped into the 40s one or two nights. Tonight, though, just some high clouds in central Illinois coming into our area. These will tend to thin out overnight. We'll end up with mostly clear skies, but some clouds off to the northwest will come in tomorrow. So increasing clouds tomorrow, but still pretty warm. We'll be in the low to mid 50s tomorrow morning. Some patchy fog in places with a few high clouds, a high of 80. And then only down to 71 at 11 o'clock tomorrow night as the clouds thicken and we see the first round of some scattered showers and thunderstorms arrive uh, tomorrow night and lasting into early Saturday morning. And then a break. And then I think Saturday night, Sunday morning, another round of storms. That looks to be the uh, storms will have the greatest potential of going severe and also the greatest coverage in our area before we'll see a few scattered storms on the actual cold front as it comes through. Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. Tonight, though, low to mid 50s looks good area wide. Tomorrow, generally upper 70s to low 80s, including 80 Lafayette, 79 Monticello. Warmer Saturday, higher humidity, winds pretty brisk out of the south, low 80s northeast, but upper 80s. Kingman, Covington, down to Crawfordsville, mid 80s Lafayette. High grass future cash shows a few patches of fog tonight and a few high clouds. But then it's mostly sunny for a while before some more high and mid-level clouds stream in tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. And then around 1.30, 2 o'clock tomorrow night or early Saturday morning, not much going on, just a lot of clouds. But I do think a wave of scattered showers and storms will pass through late tomorrow night, Saturday morning. And then a bit of a break, just partly to mostly cloudy Saturday afternoon before another wave of showers and storms comes through. Saturday night, Sunday morning. So there's the first wave. Second wave could be severe with mainly a damaging straight line wind threat as a line of storms rolls from central Illinois into our area. No severe threat Sunday, but a few scattered storms possible along the actual front uh, later in the day. Seven day forecast, upper 80 Sunday, but then it's 75 Monday. You know, we go back below normal again next week. We should be at 85. But we're only going to be at 77 Tuesday and 78 Wednesday with lows near record cool levels. 51 on Wednesday morning. And really, the, you know, the next couple of weeks, temperatures generally a little below normal. It's just been a strange 12 months. <laughs>